Hello and welcome to today's short strategy video. My name is Rihanna Redman. I'm an infant and early childhood mental health consultant at Children's Resource Center in Bowling Green. Today's strategy video is how to respond to biting. So why do infants bite? Uh, infants might bite to communicate something. So they're trying to tell us that, you know, maybe they're feeling overstimulated, maybe they're frightened or scared or they're tired. Um, older infants might bite because they're teething. So if their teeth are kind of coming through, their gums might be hurting and they could be biting to relieve some of that pain. And toddlers, they might bite because they're trying to communicate something and they don't yet have the verbal communication skills to use their words to let us know what it is that they're feeling or what it is that they want or need. And toddlers also don't yet have the self-regulation skills to um, calm themselves down if they're feeling frustrated or angry. So uh, toddlers might bite because they're feeling frustrated and they don't yet know those appropriate ways to calm down. So how can you respond to biting? So if an infant is biting, um, we want to use a calm voice and just tell them biting hurts. Uh, what we can do is redirect the infant so we can just, you know, pick them up and move them over to a different area to play somewhere else. Um, we can offer them a different toy to kind of redirect them to get them doing something different. Um, and if an infant bites another child, we, we really want to make sure that we're comforting the child who was bitten. So we want to address the injury, um, you know, make sure that they're okay. It can be really scary if we, you know, get bit or it can, it can hurt us. We could feel really upset by that. So something that we want to do is make sure that we help the, the bitten child calm down and, and help redirect them to a more soothing activity. Uh, when a toddler bites, something that we can do is kind of stand in between the victim and the biter. Um, get down on their level, you know, use a calm voice again and say, you know, no biting, biting hurts. Um, definitely address the injury and, you know, redirect the child who was bitten. Again, help them calm down, you know, help make sure that they're feeling okay. And then, you know, help them go to a different, maybe soothing activity. And then go to the biter and then help them to take deep breaths help them to calm down because again if this is a if this is a toddler that is maybe feeling frustrated and doesn't yet know how to um, self-regulate we want to help them with that so we can co-regulate co we can take deep breaths with them and then help them to you know feel better Something that we can do to prevent biting is just to really supervise children closely and read their cues. So if we're noticing that maybe every time a toddler really wants a toy, then they are biting the friend. So something that we can do is kind of step in before that biting happens and really model those positive behaviors. So giving children the words to use. So may I have a turn with the toy or can I play with that toy? Um, we want to you know, model positive ways to express feelings. So if the toddler is biting because they're frustrated or angry, um, we, can, we can tell them that when I'm feeling frustrated or angry, I can take a deep breath, I can relax, I can maybe go take a break, I can play with something else. Um, that way we're giving them those um, options of something more appropriate to do or the more safer choice. Um, and then another thing that we can do is provide appropriate options to chew or to bite. So, you know, infants or toddlers might use teething rings to kind of chew on or bite to kind of meet that oral sensory need. And lastly, this is my resource page. If you have any questions, you can email me at rihannar at crcwoodcounty.org. Um, the strategies and the information about um, infants and toddlers biting comes from this book here, Behavioral Challenges in Early Childhood Settings by Connie Jo Smith. And the strategies also came from Devro Center for Resilient Children. And lastly, please like us on Facebook at CRC Infant and Early Childhood Connection. Thanks.